Hello friends. Today we are back again with another DIY and what we are trying to do today is to beat the Monday blues. Yes, we are all under lockdown and uh, we are feeling blue and we are feeling uh, absolutely sad and dejected. Flowers have the capacity to build in hope and to encourage us and bring smiles to our faces. So today we are going to be making these DIY quick little flowers which will not only add to the beauty of our houses but also will bring some joy to our gloomy mood locked down in the house. So for these flowers, uh, what we've used is uh, mostly waste material. You could either use tissue paper or uh, I have some uh, uh, non-woven uh, fabric here with me. This is usually used to uh, uh, externally beautify the bouquets, the flowers that we get from the market. I have a habit of saving these. So I'm going to be using this. You could use uh, any kind of crepe paper. You could use any kind of paper available to you. If you have streamers at home made out of crepe paper, any paper. The idea is to bring joy through the color of flowers uh, and the beauty of flowers. Uh, we cannot uh, step out to probably, uh, uh, you know, admire the beauty of original flowers or probably buy and adorn those flowers at home. But what we can do is to make our own flowers. So what I'm using here is uh, this material. This is how it looks. Uh, you can just see this. Um, I've just cut out a ribbon kind of a strip out of uh, this material here that I have. And this is how the strips look like. Also what you would need is uh, any kind of wire. So I had this decorative wrapping wire available with me. In case you don't have any kind of wire with you, you could also use um, the cotton thread or any kind of uh, nylon thread or any kind of thread to basically uh, tie the flowers. And you require a pair of scissors. So let's start. We have already um, cut in these pieces here. Um, the size and the measurements here are really, really not that important. But uh, what is important is the uniformity. Uh, the size of your flowers that you're looking at, uh, that should be the size of the cutouts. So I wanted very small, tiny little flowers to adorn my house. So I am going to be using uh, this size. So I have just taken this size, which will yield me flowers or somewhere this tiny little size. In case uh, you want your flowers to be larger, you can use um, the width to be a little more thicker than this, probably double this. And you could also, if you want more layers to it, you can add more sheets. I don't want it to be very, very fluffy. I, I like it the way it is. So I just use four sheets of paper here. So now Sankalp is going to teach us how to put this all together. So this is a nice fan that Sankalp has made. Um, with these accordion style folds. Now all we will do is with the help of the wire, thread, whatever you are using, we will tie it in the middle of it. Okay, so, so right in the middle of it. That's how it is. And then we just twist it. Ta-da! It's as simple as that. And now our flower will start to bloom. So all we need to do is to pick up the inside most layer of our flower. Just to close up for everyone. And we start to pull it upwards. If you're doing it with tissue paper, I suggest you do it please very very carefully because uh, it has a chance of tearing apart. And all you need to do now is to just gently pull up these layers of the flower that you have made. So it's like a pom-pom. So all we are doing is to just pull up every layer of our flower. So gently. If you want it very, very fluffy, you can add more layers of paper. And as you will quickly put this up, you will see how your flower actually takes shape. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? If you don't want it to be too fluffy, you can just reduce the number of layers. If you want it uh, to have more texture in terms of a pom-pom, you can just fluff it up all the more. So see, this is how beautifully our flower has come up. 
it's a very very simple DIY and once it's complete you will see how beautifully it will uh, adorn in one corner of your house giving beauty to everyone who sees. I wanted to add some more dash of color to my flowers so I added a stem to them so that they can look nice and tall. Um, so all I have done is I have taken a satay stick. You could take any stick that's easily available with you. I didn't have the leaf tape with me. I had some uh, glitter green tape. I've used that in case you don't have that. You can either paint the stick or uh, you could use any green paper. And all I have done is to... Uh, I've taken this tape and I have rolled it. So I've just rolled it like this. So you can just you keep on rotating. The stick like this. And it will keep on uniformly here we are ready with the stick uh, this is an absolutely optional step um, this is just to give it a little more color a little more detailing uh, that we have added this if you want you could have just easily used uh, the wire as your uh, stick so you could have just added the flowers to your vase just like that just wanted to give it a little more definition so We've done this. Also, I had some green paper on hand. So, I've cut these leaves, uh, tiny leaves. And with the help of, uh, I have some glue here. So, just at the back of my flowers, I'm going to attach, say, about three flowers, the leaves that I have here. Okay, so... That is the leaf I have. So we attach this. So along with pink, this will give a nice color. We'll make our flowers a little more realistic. So that's how it looks. Whatever glass or disposable glass that's available to you, any size will do. A tape, I've taken a colorful tape here so that we can do the marking properly. And if it does, that's about it. So first we take the tape and just to ensure that we have the right marking. I hope you enjoyed our video.